So, can you tease to anything that's coming up on the show? Are you allowed to tell us anything? Because I know there's a lot of I can secrecy. Tell you everything. Oh, great! Please. So now we don't need to watch. If you oh, wait, just that turn work. that camera off, <laughs> we can. I'll we'll unplug this. Talk and we'll for hours. Coffee, and we'll just talk for you hours. You have your scripts with you, right? Oh yeah, okay, and all the outlines. Yeah. Um, the CW won't mind. Cool things happening. Mm-hmm. Um, again, cave. Yes. Cave sex. Awesome. I was a little jealous. <laughs> Come on. But the end all be all of it, of it is, yes, Stefan and Catherine are stuck in that tomb. Uh, and there are some big, bad dudes coming to Mystic Falls. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to shake things up. It's definitely going to shake up Damon and Stefan. And now, of course, well, Damon's alone now. Mm-hmm. His backup is stuck having cave sex. And so it's going to be a bit difficult for him. Um, and, and some odd, really odd alliances. You know, that whole... Damon and Alaric alliance, when that came out of the woodwork, you're sitting there thinking, really? There's another guy coming back to town that we've seen before who is going to make some sort of really odd strategic alliances with Damon. Um, It's not going to be easy getting there, but it's a lot of fun, and he's a phenomenal actor, and we've just been having a blast, so... It's going to be cool. So tell me about Klaus, because I'm a little... um, I'm a little concerned that it seems that he is... Perhaps more powerful. He's the most powerful. He's the most powerful. He's the guy you don't want to be in a room with. Ever. Ever. Um, so do you think that Damon is actually a little bit afraid of him? Yeah, I think he's shaking We haven't seen that side of yeah. Damon, really. No, there's a, there's a big problem. Yeah. There's a big problem. There's an entire whole way you have to actually... <clears throat> excuse me. In order to kill these guys, there's just such a process and... You know how these right. processes go. Yes. You know, it's just to get that close to some. It would be like a lame. It would be like you trying to come up and kill Damon with like a toothpick. <laughs> you know what I mean? That wouldn't work. Really. Even right, right, in, right, in, right, in, right in his really gorgeous eyes. Just what, right in. You try it. We'll talk about it. Okay. Probably not going to work. Not going to work. What do you think the chances are that uh, the Damon and Elena fans will have something to be pleasantly surprised about before the season ends? Something. Anything. Before the season ends? This season. Wow. Well, we just we get our script about two days before we start shooting an episode. And I'm sure they've written the entire season. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure that's not the case. But, you know, um, I've been, you know, I've been asking and... Yeah. Begging, you know, give Damon some love. Yeah. Give Damon some love of someone that's not going to, you know, that we're not going to stake in a couple of episodes. Right. Give him something real and substantial. And the answer is usually this. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. That's literally what I get. Mm. So I'm sure if I'm on my good behavior, I show up to set in my wardrobe fittings and my ADR and everything on right. time. And I get all my work and my words right. Maybe Damon will get to at least make out with Elena before season end, if he can rip off the thing. I'm telling you, it's a good, it's a good way to go. It's a good way to go. You know, it's the same thing in life. Men give women diamond rings mm-hmm. instead of taking the jewelry, giving jewelry. Damon right. just takes the jewelry. It would be. He said. It would be a special moment, I think. Yeah. Um, I d- I do want to ask you. How are the Vampire Diaries fans toward you now? Like, when you see them out and about? Because people don't just watch this show. They they devour it. Whoa. And quite a few of them... Is that a pun? ...are obsessed with it. Yeah. Um, and, and I think you experienced that with Lost as well. But I'm just curious. Not on this... Not like this. The, the Lost fans were typically my age. Mm-hmm. And, and it, what's really cool is, is these kids... I say kids. These young... Why, why thank you. <laughs> I watch Vampire Diaries, so apparently I'm a child. <laughs> these young... These, this youth yes. aspect yeah. are so excited about life yeah. and everything. And, 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 um, and, I, and I've said this. I said, you know, it's, it's like the decibel level in which they can, you know, they can explain to you how much they love the show right. is amazing. And it's a very different... Uh, way to go about it. Right. And it's awesome because there's a certain vibration that comes with scream mm. that makes you sort of, it, it energizes you. It, that explains the 
the little bit of cotton I've seen in both of your ears. Yeah. You, just, you have to protect. Well, I have ear damage now. <laughs> well, you screamed when I walked in the door. I couldn't help it. <laughs> it happens every time, I know, and I always say, it's sort of a precursor to the interview, your rep makes me sign something where I say, I'm not going to scream this time. Oh, really? It just, it comes over me. It's all right. It just happens. So you're in breach of contract is basically what you're saying. <sighs> other than that, I think the interview is going very well. I do, too. I mean, now we can't air it, but right. other than that, right. I think it's fantastic. But I will say this, these, these, <laughs> Our, the, the fans of this show, mm -hmm. on a completely different level, have, um, it's just such an interaction that I've never thought possible. It's crazy. It's awesome. And, and, and again, it's just, it wouldn't happen without them. So this is a really cool, you know, in this new age of in technology and information and internet and mm -hmm. stuff, we, it's like everybody's kind of on the same playing field. You're, you're all in this sort of amalgamation of technology and Digi cyberspace and everyone's just sort of there and the meet and greets and everything when you see everything online and then you see it in front of you is uh is is powerful it's really really cool I can only imagine after seeing what my Twitter looked like this morning what your reply section must look like on a daily basis because I told people that I was going to be interviewing you and asked if they had any questions. And for the first time ever, before interviewing someone, no one there weren't question. questions, there were instructions. And the instructions were, please just tell him that I love him. Please, uh, please, please tell him he's amazing. Please uh, just give him a hug. Please, you I guys mean, it was, are awesome. It was just like they wanted me to give you this outpouring of love, which That's is really so cool. cool. See what I mean? So you probably find a lot of positivity on Twitter, I'm guessing. There's a lot. Perhaps of... a few marriage proposals? Oh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. But the problem is, <laughs> here's the problem with those marriage proposals. I have to wait five, six, ten years mm. for them to be 18. Right, right, yeah. You know. So maybe, you know, just further down the road, see if you click yeah, when they're, yeah, say, yeah, yeah, yeah. legal. Yeah, no, That's probably sure. a smart way of going about yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the marriage proposals are pretty <laughs> awesome. And they're really, they're, the how they elaborate and right. how, the, how specific they are are really cool. Twitter probably makes you feel good. It's that's pretty. That's all it's, I'm a, say. it's a pretty <laughs> positive situation. Because <laughs> I felt good about talking to you after seeing my Twitter. I was like, "Wow, these girls would pretty much kill to be sitting next to you right that's now." That's pretty so. awesome. Suckers. Just kidding. <laughs> You're funny. Well, I love talking they to you, you as always. You I think we're going to turn off the camera now so that oh, you can tell so we, me everything okay, that's let's going do to it. happen about so, the demon and Elena. Anyway, so. Oh, I'll turn it off.